As long as one of us still breathes, the sorcerer will die. Assassin! Him? We'll kill for free. The Rock is cracking skulls and cracking jokes in The Scorpion King, a spin-off of the Mummy franchise set 2,000 years earlier. This is a very expensive B-movie with big battle sequences and lots of laughs that are mostly intentional, but it ultimately falls apart under a predictable plot. WWF superstar The Rock has hung firmly in cheek as Matthias, who squares off against Stephen Brand's ruthless warlord, is there any other kind? Memnon. Memnon's best weapon is a tempting sorceress played by Kelly Hu. You've been betrayed, Matthias. You know my name? And why you're here. Unless you live under a rock, you know the rock and the sorceress are going to conjure up some magic of their own. And that when Matthias flees Memnon's henchmen, he'll find some convenient escape routes. Don't touch that, you'll set it off. Right. Of course, all of the action leads up to a one-on-one -on -one battle between Matthias and Memnon. True, this film has a cheeky sense of itself. You expect a wink from The Rock as he deals with the obligatory rival-turned-ally, the obligatory dirt-faced urchin, the obligatory wise-cracking sidekick, etc., etc., etc. Hey, this is a movie with a pro wrestler on a camel. It should be a romp. But it wimps out by going for that PG-13 rating, so the more graphic violence is mostly off-screen and the sexuality is muted. And we've seen this story far too many times. You know, I give a thumbs down too, but I come pretty close to kind of liking yeah. it uh, for what it is. And I, I have a little sympathy for them because they attempt to make the rock's camel into a very bright beast. You know, just, the camel is smarter than the horse. And you know what? This movie proves something that every other movie with a camel in it has, has proved throughout cinematic history. What's Camels that? are not very good in movies. They just kind of stand there. Yeah. And no matter what they do, they can't make this camel interesting. But actually, the, 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 the fight scenes and the explosion scenes and everything else kind yeah. of... And I kind of enjoy now, because of the PG-13 rating, that all the breasts are covered. You know, like Kelly Hughes' hair. I don't know how so you could ever utter the statement, I enjoyed that the breasts were covered. Well, I enjoyed how, you know, like, you know? <laughs> I, I enjoyed the fact that it was so artificial, like her hair was always just in the right place. At one point, she goes down a waterfall, yeah. and you expect her hair to go up above, but even when she's going down in a waterfall, her hair is right but like But, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a violent B-movie. I'd rather see it be more violent, be more sexual. I might have given it a thumbs up. I agree with you. I mean, The Rock is charming. Well, you know, they're having a lot of fun here. It's not as self-serious as the Mummy movies, which I don't really like, but they didn't go far enough. You make an interesting point because it's a little bit too violent for kids. It's still not is. violent enough so for teenagers. So why not show some more so boring and slashing and, and plundering and pillaging? It. I love some good plundering and pillaging in a movie like this. <laughs> Either that or make it a little less violent, but one in the face other. of your uh, barbaric taste, I don't know what to say.